Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Khan and in this video you are going to see how to provision TLS to Elasticsearch cluster using GPB. In the previous video we have shown how to uh, deploy Elasticsearch standalone cluster uh, using GPB and in this video we are going to show you how to deploy Elasticsearch multi-node command cluster and Elasticsearch topology cluster. So let's get started with it. So the workstation, as you can see, we're using Kubernetes client version 1.22.4 and Kubernetes server version 1.22.7. And we our we have already installed KBV and KBV ports are running. Here we have KBV provisional port, which will help us deploy our clusters so if you want to install kpp in your cluster you should consider visiting kpp.com there we have a detailed manual on how to install kpp using healthcare and why let's go to a sample YML for Elasticsearch multi-node combined cluster so as you can see like all other green subjects plastic cells also have a API version kind metadata and spec field API version in this case is qb.com slash john alpha 2 kind is elastic search the metadata section the resource name is yes multi dot we are deploying going to deploy this cluster in demo namespace the version is expect 7.14.0 so we are using aspect of plugin we recommend using enable ssl to true uh, so that your http will be tls secure and we have set replicas to three we have set storage type to durable you can also set it to ephemeral if you have set storage type durable you have to mention the storage class name also we are on the not Kubernetes engine here we have a storage class in Linode block storage so we are using it now we are requesting one mix of resources when I've set the termination policy to do not time limit you want to delete your secrets and PVC when you delete your custom resource uh, you can set it to wipe out so let's deploy our multi node cluster So we have deployed our multi-node, as you can see, the Elasticsearch multi-node cluster is in provisioning status. Okay, it has created stateful set, a stateful set with the two ports. So the ports are getting ready. It has also created services first one is called yes multi node the client service second one is yes multi node master which is pointed to the master node third one is yes multi node ports which will be used to for cluster among the nodes here we have some secrets as well as you can see the yes multi node elastic grid is a basic or type secret containing the admin, admin credentials uh, we have four TLS secrets one this secret is to be served which is going to be used for HTTP layer this is going to be used for transport layer and the archive assert is going to be used for backup and restore CSR is going to be used for secret communication with the server are running third floor is pending status it's getting ready so let's wait for a while while we are waiting i think i think we can get the 
traditional secrets this as you can see our admin username is elastic and for elastic user our password is this uh, let's export this user and password I'm going to copy this password from here and paste it. Okay, now export this password. As you can see, all three ports are running and Elasticsearch multi node CR is in various steps. So now we can access our cluster. We are going to use this client service port forward to our local machine. Okay. Service name so it is multi node. So it's forwarding to our local host. Now we are going to check our cluster status whether it is working properly or not. Okay. Cluster health. So as you can see our cluster name is yes multi node and it's in status so its health is good. The number of nodes are three number of data nodes three active primary share is one active share is two so you can say that our cluster is ready and it has been deployed successfully so that's how you can deploy the elastic search multi-node combined cluster now we are going to see how to deploy the elastic search topology cluster so this is a sample spec for topology cluster can see the API version the same I'm saying I have named it yes topology it is also going to be deployed in demo namespace I have also set the enable itself to true the version same expect seven point expect seven point forty panel storage type is also durable the topology section we have some extra fields you see that it provides a way to configure different types of nodes for the elastic service cluster this field enables you to specify how many nodes you want to act as master, data, or ingest. You can also specify how much storage and resources to allocate for each type of node independently. Here you can see uh, I'm requesting one gigs for master, one gigs for data, and one gigs for ingest. I could have also set it differently if I wanted. I am also using the storage class name Linux block storage, which is a storage class on Linux Kubernetes engine where we are deploying our cluster. Okay, so let's deploy this to our cluster. CTL apply use topology level. Created. As you can see, your topology cluster is in provisioning. It has created some stateful sets. So it's created stateful set for data nodes, stateful set for ingest node, and stateful set for master nodes. Now ports are getting ready. Can see it has also created three services one for the client service one for the master service which is pointing to the master nodes one for the port service which is the discovery service which is used to form cluster among the nodes it is also created similarly 
the clusters you can see it is similarly created for TLS secrets this secret is created for national administration credentials we can get the admin credentials from the secret so let's get it first We are going to change it to yes. Apology yes ticket. The username for this so admin username is plastic. We're going to do the same for getting the password. That is elastic user. We have the password now. We're going to export this username and the password to our local system as well. Copy this password from here and paste it. Let's export it. Now, as you can see, that our yes topology cluster is ready. Now we can access it. So, we're going to pull forward from the client service here, yes topology. Okay. Yes, a for service being forwarded to our local host. So, there now we are going to check the cluster health as well as we did it previously. So, as you can see, our cluster health is green. Cluster name is yes topology, number of nodes seven. As we have, as you can see from here, three data nodes, two ingest nodes, and two master nodes, total seven nodes. Uh, number of primary shards is one, active shards is two. So we have also successfully deployed Elasticsearch topology cluster. We're going to insert some demo data into our cluster. Let's see the data persists. Okay. <coughs> so here's a demo data which we are going to insert it to in these products. And in the data field, you can see that let's set name to kubedb, vendor export, and a little description, db operator for Kubernetes. We're going to insert it to Elasticsearch products in this and then as you can see successfully created okay now we're going to insert another demo data here on the same in these products and here in, in the data field you can say that its name is schema manager then the export description a tool for supporting multi channels in kubedb we're going to also insert it Let's check if the data persists in the elastic service cluster. So we're going to make a gate request. As you can see, our data is in here in the index products. We have a data name kubedb and the code. Same in this with another data name Square Manager and the rest of So our plastic search is successfully working. Now in this demo we have shown a, we have shown a elastic search cluster deployment using uh, XF 7.14.0 version. 
uh, if you want we have all other version supports for Elasticsearch. you can see all of them from here if you will get es version as you can see we are supporting uh, open distro distribution search card and elastic stack as well yes so we are supporting expect search card and open distro auth plugin for other versions you can also deploy it from as far your requirement so that's it that's how to deploy and provision elastic search cluster in kubernetes native way using kubedb thanks for watching